The coronavirus forced colleges and universities to move to online learning after spring break. It was an inconvenience for some. Inconvenience, but that would be an understatement for a VMI cadet who had to move into a tent to finish the semester. Weather's not ideal, but it works. VMI second year cadet William Taylor is finishing the semester in a tent outside his home near Hershey, Pennsylvania. I did have it flood once. It's remote enough there that there's no access to cable and cell service is spotty unless you know where to go. I was like, well, I have a tent in the back of my car and I knew a certain spots that get good cell service out here. So I was like, I guess I'll put up my tent and see if that works. It's a long way from the military precision of the VMI post, but not from its teachings. It was an obstacle that to some people they might be like, well, guess I can't do school. But for me, with some of the skills I learned at VMI, it taught me to be like, well, I have a 10 and put two and two together and go out and still do what I started. That's not to say it's been easy. It has snowed. It's been cold and rainy. And then there's the family goats, sheep and chickens. Like the noises that they'll make when they're laying an egg. And like I've had to like shoo them out or something or like go yell at them. So I've had some of my classmates and stuff make fun of me. In his tent, Taylor is learning Arabic as a modern languages major. Eventually, he wants to be a chaplain. He was homeschooled in a family of 10, close to his religion and philosophy, and certainly practical. Put a little desk in here, I put a chair and everything, and I just started doing school in the tent, and it worked actually pretty well. There is somebody who wanted to finish his classes. Uh, now that the semester is winding down, he's spending less time in the tent. But for most of the past month or more, it's been about eight hours a day.